What a Mario day, am I right? We got a good amount of stuff, a lot of release dates. The remake of Thousand New Door was announced for May 23rd, and Luigi's Mansion 2 remake was for June 27th. But the absolute biggest highlight of Mario Day has to be the reveal of Super Mario Bros. Movie 2. It's happening, and in fact, they say they're probably already at the animation stage. Which, if you know anything about animation, you know that is a feat. Like, they probably got to work right after the release of the first movie. Because, well, obviously, as they should have, because it was a huge success. Like, when a movie grosses over a billion dollars, you invest immediately. Unless you're Avatar. But yeah, I mean, like, I just can't wait to see this uh, sequel. I know that people like to throw around the name of the Super Mario Bros. Movie 2, but honestly, with that title scheme, they could come up with something more creative, like, uh, call it, like, the second Super Mario Bros. Movie, and maybe have, like, second, uh, pronounced in, like, the Mario Madness font from Super Mario Bros. 2's box art. I think that would be great. Uh, but, yeah, and that's not even, like, the best part for me. The best part is the release date, April 3rd, 2026. Now, if you know anything about me, you know April 3rd is my birthday. And you dearly devoted viewers probably know that already of the birthday videos I've been putting out over the past couple of years. But yeah, apparently this movie will come out on my birthday. And what a birthday gift to be gifted a sequel to one of my favorite movies ever and who knows maybe this movie will be better than the first movie like if it is that is wild I mean sequels do have a tendency or a high chance of being better I mean prime example Toy Story 2 I mean people say that movie is better I mean I personally don't think it is but it's like on par with the first in my eyes but I can see that there's a high chance of them developing the world, developing the story and characters to a point where it could probably be an all-timer movie. And, and the critics will probably even like it because they saw the first movie, maybe they already got the gist of Mario, and who knows, this movie has a high chance of getting a critically, critical acclaim. Obviously, it's going to get commercial acclaim. It's going to destroy the box office once again. I know that for a fact. The merchandise will blow the roof off of the toy stores once again. Um, the only thing left to do now is just get that critical acclaim. I have faith that Illumination can pull it off this time. Because Illumination, I will say, the, f the, the, the Super Mario Bros. movie has saved Illumination's reputation. Or, if it, or if maybe it did not single-handedly save it, but it definitely boosted their reputation. Because up until like 2021 with like Sing 2, they were mainly just putting out garbage. And then you have Minions Rise of Gru, which was a good movie. And then you have the Super Mario Bros. movie, which was one of my favorite movies ever. And then you have the, the Despicable Me 4 trailer getting like positive reactions despite the fact that it's yet another despicable me which by the way i i have some excitement for despicable me 4. i think it could probably be a good despicable me movie but besides that i just think that illumination have the biggest like the biggest pressure uh, probably in their entire career in their entire existence to top what is possibly to most Nintendo fans one of the greatest movies like ever, the Super Mario Bros. movie. But who knows, since Nintendo is very involved and they were involved with the first movie heavily, unlike certain monstrosities, I have no doubt that they will find a way to knock it out of the park once again.